Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash, and double honor to those great meals and one lunch's truth, and also to the whole filet that is scattered abroad. I like to say shalom and come back here today with another great powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title today's lesson is A Breach Ready to Fall. So I like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power. Which, in fact, is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, before we start the lesson, we're going to look up the word breach and find out the meaning of it for just for edification purpose. And I hope that you get edified. Let's look up the word uh, breach before we start the lesson. <clears throat> so, when you look up the word breach, it means a, a gap in a wall, a barrier, or, or defense, especially one made by an attacking army. A, a breach uh, in the mountain wall. That's just another example. So we have another example of it is a break, a rupture, a split, a crack, a fracture, a, a rift, a opening, a gap, a hole, a, a, a fissure. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a cleft. Let's see what else it had. And you pretty much got the meaning, but you know, a rupture, you know, so we seeing that, you know, America is what is constantly what breaking down. It's constantly what collapsing. We seeing that holes are all in the what in the government. We seeing that, you know, what I'm saying that that the government cannot uh, uh, come to no type of decision. We seeing that uh, the, the Republicans has well regained the House, and they said the first thing they would do is in, investigate what Joe Biden and I about. So it's you know there's all sorts of uh, disagreements, and I about you know so if a nation is divided, it cannot stand. So a breach ready to fall. Also, we seeing that, you know what I'm saying, a lot, a lot of our allies, which in fact are our enemies, are looking at us. You know, they are hating the whore. And I about this seeing that we have said, have they become what? Weak as we. And I about, you know, we have a weak leader. We have a weak government. And I about a weak infrastructure. And I about all hell is getting ready to break loose. In the middle of the law, we constantly warning you left and right. Also, these banks, which in fact is uh, Bank of America, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, Chase and, and plenty of others already are uh, doing test runs on this new digital uh, 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 digital currency, this 5G blockchain system. So things is about to get real, whether you believe it or not. So a lot of people are still are playing game. And I did about, you know, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And I had about a breach ready to fall. And I had about, you know what I'm saying? So the enemy is getting ready to attack, getting ready to a strike. And I had about, we seeing that, hey, everything around us, it's getting ready to change. You know, a global event is getting ready to uh, uh, occur, which in fact is what the hour of temptation. And I about we know it that, hey, it is here. Bible props are being fulfilled left and right each and every day. In the middle of the Lord, they're constantly signing and crying left and right, standing on their feet, making these sit down, or going out in the highways and byways, making these videos left and right. And I about hey, we are here. We are in these times, real time. And I about you know, a breach ready to fall, a rupture, you know, it's a collapse. All hell is getting ready to break loose. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly warning left and right. It is here. It is at the door. So that about we seeing that, you know, uh, this December the 13th date is coming up very quickly. And that about we seeing that did a, this new uh, AI they got coming up these lying wonders. You know, I got to be careful what I say. But anyway, you don't understand what I'm saying. This MOTB is getting ready to be rolled out. All these different what mandates to get ready to come upon us. You know what I'm saying? Unrighteous decrees. And I'd about a breach ready to fall. So it's going to be a lot of opposition. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be what? Nation arising against nation. It's going to be Egyptian against Egypt. A lawless time. You know what I'm saying? A time of trouble that we have never seen before. Even though we are signing like a broken record. But these are the times that we are living in. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is a breach ready to fall. So before we get started, we got uh, two... Uh, Three, three little uh, quick video clips, and after that we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will uh, get edified. Let's let's get the first one up. One moment, one moment, and here we go with the first one. One moment, let's get it up. One moment, and here we go. Republicans have made it clear that if they do take control of the House, that they want to launch a, a raft of investigations on day one into your handling of Afghanistan, the border. Uh, they want to look into some of your cabinet officials. They want to investigate you. They may even want to investigate your son. What's your message to Republicans who are considering investigating your family, and particularly your son Hunter's business dealings? Look, um, I think the American public wants to move on and get things done for them. And, uh, you know, I heard that there were, uh, it was reported, whether it's accurate or not, I'm not sure, but it was reported many times that Republicans were saying that 
former president said, how many times are you going to impeach Biden? You know, uh, impeachment proceeding against Biden. I mean, I think, the re- I think the American people will look at all of that for what it is. It's just uh, almost comedy. I mean, it's, uh, but, you know, look, I can't control what they're going to do. Uh, Starting uh, December 1st, guys, they're getting ready to, re- to remove certain aspects of their profile. Now, I know to some this isn't a big deal, but it's going to be a much bigger deal than you think. Because when they start doing stuff like this, and I believe they're also going to do it with YouTube too, it, it's going to be harder and harder to be able to find certain posts certain content. It's part of their misinformation campaign. They don't want you to speak the truth. They want you to fall in line with, with what they say. Man, I'm telling y'all right now, that that, uh, that time is coming. You either love God or you love the world. Period. They talk. One moment. One of the newer technologies is called WalletMore, and for 249 pounds, you can get this nifty little device implanted. It's the world's first entirely safe implant, which you can use for contactless payments at any time, everywhere. Forget about the cash, card, and smart pay solutions, just use your hand. While traditional RFID chips went between your thumb and pointer finger, WalletMore goes beside your pinky finger. The chip they use is called an NFC chip, and the good news is that hacking or copying the data onto another drive is impossible. It is the safest payment instrument currently available on the earth, and there is no risk of losing or getting the implant stolen. It's ultimately convenient, and since you have an implant inside your hand, you will never forget about bringing your money. It's globally accepted everywhere on the planet. It's entirely biosafe, it's impossible to hack, it's not possible to spy, track, monitor, or gather any information about the implant's user, so they say, and it doesn't affect your medical treatment. And in a world that thrives on convenience, of course, there's many people that are going to get this and give their testimonies about how it's made their lives so much better. Is this the mark of the beast, though? On its own, no, because in Revelation 14, We are told that the mark also includes worshipping the beast and its image. But make no mistake, I believe this is all conditioning to accepting the real mark of the beast when it does arrive. And for those who take it, it's a death sentence, and it is unforgivable. So it must be related to the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit somehow, because that's the only unforgivable sin there is. Many are speculating that it's going to change our DNA in some way and that will be transformed somehow. And with all those superhero movies as well, some are guessing that this mark will give people extraordinary powers. None of us know for sure, but we do know that Satan is coming with all power and signs and false or lying wonders. So the mark of the beast will most likely seem very appealing to many that aren't aware of the consequences according to God's word. But with a name like Wallet more, it sure does tie into not being able to buy or sell anything unless you have this mark. I know there's a wide variety of opinions of what the mark of the beast may actually be, and we're not going to know for sure until it happens, so please be respectable with your comments to one another. One of the newer technologies... Okay, I hope you, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. So in the first video, the man said, geez, but we know that it's not his name, but... You know, we know his name is what Yahusha Hamas Yah, but that about we knowing that you know the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And that about also in the last video, you know, he said that he don't know whether it's the mark or not. We know that it what is the mark. And that about, but anyway, 
<clears throat> you know, this nation is constantly dividing left and right. We're seeing that what civil unrest. We're seeing that we're right upon what civil war. You know, so so it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be kill or be killed. White against black. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be just all sorts of confusion. You know what I'm saying? And great death and great destruction and also great persecution and get ready to fall to what? The, 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 the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua, what? The saints and not about you know, which in fact is the house of David, the elect. So a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. And also in that second video, it said that, you know, about, said that they're getting ready to take down uh, a lot of things off of Facebook, like uh, a religion, a, a religious, uh, 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 comments or uh, different things like that. Uh, your your profile, if you're talking about the truth or certain things about the truth, miss what a misinformation. You know what I'm saying? Agenda. They get ready to push it. They saying the same thing about YouTube. Also TikTok. It's already was rumor that they're wanting to take TikTok down. We knowing that what famine of the world is coming. So we're very close. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? A breach ready to fall. What all hell breaking loose. So hey, we're here. So we'll start today. Let's. And I hope that you get edified once again. We start today. Let's let's go to uh, Matthew's. One moment. Let's go to Matthew's chapter. One moment. Matthew's chapter twelve. One moment. Matthew's chapter twelve. One moment. Matthew's chapter twelve, and uh, we'll start up at verse uh, twenty-five. Matthew chapter twelve and verse twenty-five, and it reads, "And Yahweh shall knew uh, their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought." to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand verse 26 and if satan cast out satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand and out of body, we seeing that what's happening you know we seeing that the, the republican has took over what the house and out of body, we seeing that they are divided and the first thing that they're saying they're going to do is what uh investigate the what the president of the united states which in fact is what sleepy joe Joe Biden and out of body, you know, we're seeing that, you know, that 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 that, that uh, tension is constantly flaring against the what the, the, the uh, Demo Democrat and the Republican. We already know they still have the same agenda, which in fact is what the new world order. We're not ignorant of Satan the vice. And out of body, we're seeing that, you know, uh, the, our, our, our inner structure is 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 constantly crumbling. We're seeing that what our uh, supply chain line is constantly what is diminishing. And then we're seeing that, you know, things are getting ready to escalate. You know what I'm saying? Now we're seeing that uh, 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 our water is constantly drying up across America. You know, we're seeing that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're telling you about this new digital uh, rollout. So things are happening, you know what I'm saying, all around us. And out about it, we're seeing that the other nations are hating us. You know, they're, they're turning back on the what? On the petrol dollar. We know that we have, you know, the dollar is all is finished. America is finished. And I about a lot of people steady talking about voting, trying to get this done, trying to get that done. Hey, we're here. We're at the end. This place is getting ready to be a total desolation. There will be no inhabited left here. We constantly warn you left and right, but you're in for a rude wake. And also in that last video, it said about these lying wonders. So a lot of people going to line up. They're going to get seduced. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be convenient to them. What they will tell you about, you know, by putting it in your pinky and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? You will not be by say if you take the mark in your right hand or in your uh, forehead. So, hey, it is here. It is at the door. They put it all in your face, you know, making it plain and simple. But the Lord said that, you know, uh, in Isaiah chapter 27, he said he shall, uh, Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7 said that he shall remove the covering cast. What? All the lies, all the deception, all the darkness. And not about anything that was here is coming to light. And now that we've seen it left and right through the spirit of power of your house. By Shimei Hashem. So if a nation is divided, it cannot stand. So we're seeing it right before our eyes. We're seeing that they are divided. They can't come to no type of decision. And I'd be hey, if it cannot stand, we know you already know a breach ready to fall. All hell is getting ready to break loose. You know what I'm saying? America is a what constantly what collapsing, aka Babylon the Great. So now let's uh, go to Isaiah chapter 19. A quick lesson through the spirit. Still under weather, but we're gonna still push out. <clears throat> One moment. Isaiah chapter 19. Isaiah chapter 19, one moment. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse <clears throat> and verse uh, 2. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 2. And it reads, And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, uh, uh, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So that is getting ready to happen very soon. Civil unrest, civil war. We're seeing that, hey, we're seeing that the house has taken over. You know what I'm saying? 
First they line of business saying they get ready to come at the president. So, you know what I'm saying? They have a lot of disagreements. We already know all hellers get ready to break loose. And also when they implement that, what? That MOTB, we know that it's going to be a lot of opposition. And I advise he will not be able to perform this enterprise. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And we constantly warn you left and right. Hey, we are here. So now let's start back up. Let's go to Luke chapter uh, 10. Luke, chap uh, Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. One moment. Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. <clears throat> and it reads, it said, and, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And I, by we knowing that the physical counterpart of Satan is what is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks speaks of. And I by we seeing that you know his what his 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 uh rulership is constantly what? It's collapsed. Everything around him is collapsed. Ain't nothing working out for him. all the nations of what are hating the whore. And I about to get ready to turn against a mark. And I about to get ready to burn her. You know what I'm saying? These IB, IBCM missiles are getting ready to fly. And we cuss the warning. Left and right, we are here. We are living in these times, real time. And I about to, you know, it's a breach ready to fall any given time. All hell can break loose. And I about you already saying that, you know, it say you back on Facebook, you know, certain uh, uh misinformation uh that they're gonna take down a lot of different things. So we already know famine of words coming right now. It is convenient. You know what I'm saying? Right now the door of repentance open, you know what I'm saying? So right now I can sit down in my own home right now and make a uh do a live, go out in the highways by we can go live, you know, we can make video, we can, you know, be anywhere. But that about all these things are getting ready to come to the end. You know, so that's why it's very important to watch. Friends and be so and also seek your true power while he can't be found. And that's about but we living in these times, real time. We read upon judge, and that's about a lot of our people are still or what are not considered, still are what playing game, still are talking about voting, still are talking about the holiday, still are talking about everything is gonna be alright. It's nothing is going back the same. This place is getting ready to be destroyed with these IBCM missiles, the indignation of your house by shooting out a shot in the middle of the Lord. We constantly sign the crime left and right, and that's about hey, we're here, and that's about you know these rolling blackouts, they're getting ready to come to uh coming to uh, uh uh to play a lot of things are coming down the pipe pipeline you know they already uh had uh uh amazon they said they are uh, getting ready to lay off what ten thousand uh employees so that that that's already the start you know you'll start laying off you know what i'm saying all these other major come uh facebook uh what's the other one trip uh twitter you know what I'm saying? They start laying off. So, you know, we're seeing that, yeah, hey, the collapse is all around. That breach is what? Constantly crumbling. Got holes in it. You know what I'm saying? It's constantly erupt, eruption. You know, it's constantly what? Cracking. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's a lot of things that get ready to happen all of a sudden in thy security. And I'd about to hate. A lot of people are in for what? A rude awake. We constantly warn you. Left and right. So, let's read that again. Uh, Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And I about we know that Satan means what adversary of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And I about we know the physical counterpart, once again, is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We're seeing that what? We're in that transition of power. We're seeing we're in the birth pain. And I about we're seeing that his kingdom is falling and crumbling all around us. And I about you know what I'm saying? The Lord is what? Is making Esau bear. And I about he cannot hide. He cannot run because what? He's right upon his judgment. And I about we cannot wait. Woo! So now let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to Second Ezra chapter uh, Second Ezra. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. <clears throat> Battling this flu. One moment, but we're gonna we're gonna work it out. Uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen. One moment. Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse fifteen. <clears throat> and it reads, "said For the sword in their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand, the uh, the modern day gun, you know." Uh, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And I about you know, so we knowing that once all hell break loose, these different what? Unrighteous decrees get ready to come down. We know these different mandates, these lockdowns to get ready to come, martial law, all these things to get ready to happen. So they were not regard they what? Law enforcement. They not regard they what? They government. They not regard they what? anyone you know what i'm saying so it'd be a lawless time civil unrest civil war and i'd about you know say hey 
It, it is here. Kill or be killed. Kill on sight. And I'd about, hey, the body count is getting ready to be great. And I'd about, we are here. It is at the door. And I'd about, it is high time to prophesy. These are the times that we're living in. And I'd about, we constantly, you know, uh, being repetition because that I did about, you know, you have been well worn. Whether you were out of you were here or out of you will forbear. And I'd about, hey, whew, whew, we're here. It is at the door. The kingdom of heaven. It is at hand. So let's start back up. Second area chapter 15, we'll start back up. And verse uh, uh, 17, secondary chapter 15 and verse 17, and it reads, said, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because of what? The martial law, because the unrighteous decree. You know, everybody will tell everyone to go into their home. You caught out there in the street, they will kill you on sight. That's get ready to happen. Also, these female accounts get ready to come back in the big one. These guilty where they're going to be chopping people's heads off. A lot of people going to what? Going to fold. And out of the they're going to they go ahead on and take that you don't what? And you will be totally destroyed. So Revelation chapter uh, 13 verses 15 through uh, 18 is speaking loud and clear. And out of body, it is here. Everything is what? It's set. The stage is set. And out of body, hey, it's time to seek the Lord. And out of body, we have run out of time. It is here. It is at the door. So now let's start back up. Uh, second area chapter 15. We'll start back up at verse 18. It says, for because, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And the men shall be afraid. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with, with the sword and spoil their goods because the lack of bread and great tribulation. So when that time of trouble comes, we seeing that what nation is what this this this, this nation is what is divided. So I when 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 that what when that, that breach break, all hell will break loose. So it's gonna be a, a what a a, a a great tribulation, great persecution. So you know it'd be a food short, you know what I'm saying? People won't have necessities. You know, people won't uh, 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 have uh, things uh, to, to, to live comfortable like they would live. And I'd buy, you know, it's going to be a time of what? Desperation. A lot of people are going to be what? Faint or a lot of people are going to be what? Uh, uh, travailing like a woman with child. Jacob trouble. It is at the door. We're at the beginning of sorrow. And also World War Three can kick off at any given moment. We are here. So you're seeing that the supply chain line are constantly bringing, they laying off people. We're seeing that the what? The economy constantly plunging. We're seeing that the dollar is just becoming... Worthless, and out about hey, we're coming upon that time, and they get ready to roll out this what this new digital society, and out about it is at the door. It's time to get prepared, and on the way you will will get prepared is through what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is he dealing with you, and out about we coming upon that time, a perilous time that we have never seen before. Who we are coming, it is coming. But one thing about it, kingdom of heaven, it is almost at hand. So now let's go to uh let's go to Second Thessalonians. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. Second Thessalonians, one moment. Second Thessalonians chapter two. And we'll start up at verse uh, verse eight. And it reads, and, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophet. And who is the wicked? The so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So let's read that again. And then shall the wicked be revealed, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophet. We are in the highways and Bible. We stand on our feet and we stand on fire for Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh shall we sign and cry and shall destroy with the uh, shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when the Lord cracks those clouds out of the east, he's coming in that fathership, you know, in the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's why he's gathering the nation for the conservation of Zion. And out about the, the Lord is getting ready to what? To bring that recompense in judgment. And also the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You know, that, that fervent heat. And out about, hey, we read upon these times. And out about, we cut the warn you left and right. So a lot of people are relaxing, still thinking that they're a good case, still thinking that, hey, everything is fine. Everything is love. And out about, all of a sudden, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And we cut the warn you. So now, let's start back up <clears throat> at verse 8. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse eight, and then shall uh, now Salak, uh Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse nine. It said, "Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, uh, with all powers and signs and lying wonders." And I, everybody, we already know we seen in that last video about they were telling you about the uh, about that uh, 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 that uh, I think it's some uh, uh, ID wallet. I'm thinking that what it was, but anyway, it's telling about where they'll put that. Uh, you know what in your uh in your pinky and out of body so it's very convenient 
you know, making it sound like it's very convenient. You know, it's, it's harmless. But that is about it. You know, those are the lying wonders that they are going to entice you with. And a lot of people that don't have faith and don't believe, they're going to line up and say, hey, hey this is not the mark of the beast. And I about and you will be totally strong. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord said, the deceiver and the deceived is here, said Lord. And the Lord said also in Matthew chapter uh, 24, I think around verse 3 or 4, he said that, you know, take heed that no man deceive you. So we're in that time. But the idea about it, hey, is we're in the time of what our great revealing. And that about the Lord is constantly revealing. And his word is not what? Return to him bold. Woo, the Bible is a true book. So the idea about it, hey, and one thing about it, M-O-T-B, that's one of the part of the line one. You know, we can make you see again. We can make you walk again. We can make you stronger. We can make you live forever. You know, want to be like what? The most high. Yahweh, Vashim, Yahweh, Shah. But that about it, he will not be able to perform his enterprise. So now, let's uh, start back up. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse 10. And it reads said, and, and with all deceivingness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Verse 11, and for, for this cause, uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And that about that was exactly what's going to happen. A lot of people going to get enticed when they don't have what food. They don't have medical supply. The necessity for everyday life. They want everything to go back the same. But the Lord said, the one that saves his life shall lose his life. Because he constantly looking back on this what on this a uh, 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 place that is finished, which in fact is Babylon the Great, that is America. Don't look back, look forward, look to the kingdom. Keep your eyes on the prize, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven. And also the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are very, very close. Our salvation is very close in that than we yet believe. So these two-thirds, you know what I'm saying, they're going to line up like clockwork. They got a strong delusion on them right now. They are still sleeping, but the idea about, they're getting ready to wake up to a rude awakening. And out about, they get ready to what? To feel the fire. And out about, you know, they would know it death by pain. So the idea about, so the devil is getting ready to what? To come down with great wrath. And out about, and the Lord said, when he what? Come in with that, uh, uh, and come, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord's going to lift up that stand, that what? That supernatural intervention. And out about, it's getting ready to come into play. Because we stay loyal to the Lord. We believe the Lord. We fear the Lord. And out of that, we ask for the Lord to how long, Lord, we're ready to get delivered and get out of this what? Out of this nightmare, out of this temporal world. And out of that, and get back in our first state and be with our Lord and Savior forever and forever in mortality, rulership, spiritual power. So now, let's start back up. Let's go to, uh, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, <clears throat> uh, Ecclesiastes. One moment. Ecclesiastes chapter nine. One moment. Ecclesiastes chapter nine. <clears throat> one moment. Please start to chapter 9 and verse 12. <clears throat> One moment. Uh, and it reads, uh, for, for man also knows not his time as, as fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in, in the snares. Uh, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it uh, falleth suddenly upon them. And that's what's getting ready to happen. They get ready to fall suddenly upon you. These snares, what? This new world order. You know what I'm saying? This uh, 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 universal dictatorship. You know what I'm saying? This digital society. This MOTB, which in fact is what the RD microchip. These lying wonders are getting ready to come into play. And out of about, hey, you know, out of you, you know, out of you seeking the Lord, are you seeking death? And out of about, we are living in this time. Real time, and that about hey, these snares are getting ready to trap a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, when 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 their comfort zone get taken away from them, you know what I'm saying? They gonna crumble like a cookie, and that because they don't have what faith, they don't have works, and I and I did about they don't fear the Lord, and that about they're getting ready to get caught up in that evil net, in that evil time, and that evil time is what is Jacob trouble, the hour of temptation, in the middle of the Lord, we come to sign the crime, warning you of these up in the day, a breach ready to fall. Suddenly, all of a sudden. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Just a quick lesson through the spirit, still under the weather, but we're going to push out through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> One moment, let me get a quick, uh, some water, man. One moment. Uh, Job chapter uh, 20. One moment. Job chapter, Salaki for that. Uh, Job chapter 20. One moment. And verse um, verse 22, which we read, we read here. Uh, Job chapter 20 and verse 22. And it reads that in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And out about he's in the fullness of what? His rulership. We're seeing that he's at the peak. He had the final what? Uh, 
uh, at the final what com uh, 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 what complex. I mean the uh, final uh, conflict. You know about you know say this is the climax, and about out there about Esau is the end of this earth age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that fall. And I about we so we in that transition of power, and I about he shall be in straight. We seeing that what his his his. His government is, is divided. They cannot make no type of decision. We seeing that nothing working out for them. We seeing that the what these other uh nations are what are turning against what America. Also, they're letting go of the petrol dollar and out about you know causing more what things to collapse all around us. And out about all hell is getting ready to break loose in the middle of We come to sign and crying left, right. Also, they're trying to what to perform their enterprise, but it will not happen. So now let's start back up. Job chapter 20. And verse, uh, and every hand of the wicked is all these other nations. They shall hurt what? Burn the whore. When you go to Revelation chapter uh, 17, and I bet that is getting ready to happen all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are what? Are still sleeping. And I'd about the middle law. We are warning you. Warning before destruction. And I'd about it. Hey, we're here. But that is about the Lord's getting ready to what? To bring the what? The famine of the world. It's getting ready to be over with. So now let's start back up. Job chapter 20. And we'll start back up at verse 23. Job chapter 20 and verse 23. It said, when he is about to fill his belly, the Almighty shall cast the uh, fury of, of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So right now he's setting it up. You already talking about rolling out, you know, this uh, digital uh, uh, one word currency. You know, what I'm saying? this Catholic society, they're already doing test runs uh, in, uh, 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 with uh, Bank of America, uh, Wells Fargo. You no know, Chase Bank and many other is getting ready to come into play. Also, this Fad Now app is getting ready to come into play. So that about he want what total control, but that about he's in the what the fullness of his sufficiency. And that about hey, the Lord said he getting ready to cast down what that fire on him. And that about we kind of what the ending nation of Yahweh. Now, Shem Yahweh, who we get one more. Let's go to uh, Amos chapter eight and we'll close out. Let's go to Amos chapter eight and verse eleven. Amos chapter eight. One moment, we'll close out here. The famine of the world. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen. <clears throat> in the in the, in the song places are becoming unsung. We're seeing that all around. The truck uh the trucking industry they're going on strike. We're seeing that uh supply chain lines are breaking down. We're seeing that we have a, a diesel short. So a lot of things are happening. And also they saying the misinformation uh champagne. I mean a campaign is getting ready to go on. Uh, it's gonna start with what Facebook. And also. Uh, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to take down a lot of, uh, they said religion, but we're not under uh, no religion. And I, this is our heritage, our way of life. This is who we are. We are the Hebrews uh, of the Bible. Now it's about to hate. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things get ready to happen. Great persecution, great death and destruction is right upon us. So now, amen, uh, Amos, <clears throat> so like Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. We'll close out here. <clears throat> Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. And it reads, said, Behold, the day come says uh, the Almighty, that I will send a famine in the land, not not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even from the east. They shall run uh, to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find. They shall seek me early. But they shall not fight. And not about it. it's time right now to seek the Lord while the door repenting is still opening. And not about it. the Lord is long suffering. But not about it. the Lord's getting ready to what to bring that recompense and judgment, the indignation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We're here. It is at the door. And not about it. the title of the day lesson once again is a breach ready to fall. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem with I like to say Shalom.